What's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors and say hello to the new toy. I've got all these projects I've been working on, I've been feeling bad, I haven't been able to be making any ripping and off-roading videos for you, so we decided to trade the Jeep for this so we can have something to play with while I finish up the projects and entertain you guys. Instead of me trying to explain what this monster is, let's cut to a clip from Mikey. My good buddy that I got the truck from, he'll explain what it is. All right, Mikey, what is this, what is this monster? Well, it's a 79 three quarter ton Ford. It's got a 390 big block in it, two wheel drive transmission with a divorce transfer case. Uh, it's like nine inches of lift. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I think a little more long. than that. <laughs> uh, it's got tractor tires. And I think they're, I want to say they're 42s. That is bigger than yeah. a 42. Think so? The 40s on my the 40s on my Fummins probably are like the size of this wheel. That's the uh, size. 14 my... by 26, whatever that is in the track. <laughs> I'll yeah. have to measure. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's just a Jeep Willys pickup box or pickup cab. That's a little homemade box on the back, I guess. <laughs> Does the job. Yeah, that's a fun toy. Sweet. Well, you're gonna have some fun with the Jeep. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> See you around. Yep. But it doesn't need a battery, so to unload it off the trailer, I'm gonna steal one from the old seven tree. Uh, that's three, not tree, you dumb butt. <laughs> She's stuck, stuck in there? Yeah, we're gonna need a wrench. All right, so I forgot that it's a pain in the butt to take the batteries out of the OBSs because the straps, it sucks. So I ended up finding a battery in the Sherp Shad, it was a brand new battery. It's one we thought would fit the Sherps, but didn't. So hopefully it's got some juice in it. It's a pretty small battery, so we'll see, and it's never been charged, but it's new. So batteries have some charge when you get them new. Hopefully it'll fire it up, and then it's gonna be kind of sketchy unloading this, because, well, you guys saw how sketchy it was when we loaded it. <laughs> you can barely get in that thing. Huh? You can barely get in it. And the brakes don't work. Oh yeah, you're gonna roll for a ways, aren't you? Okay, so I'm gonna flip this switch on. Push it. Okay. Uh oh, Skedios. Like Colin said, there's no brakes. I think he's just waiting for it to stop.
sparks and flames. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, what's going on with the chain? are just flying open. <laughs> this thing is sick. It's gonna be fun. New new good toy. Scary. So like it seems it seems like super tippy. <laughs> it didn't feel tippy. It didn't feel tippy. Why is it so scary? The gears. So it's an automatic, but you gotta like push this up and down to get into the gears. And here's the kicker. There's no brakes at all. I need to put a new brake line on this passenger side here. So there is zero brakes. <laughs> When I'm trying, so I have to try to slip it into neutral, and it's pretty hard to kind of get it into it. So it's like when I want to stop, I need to try to get into neutral. So it's like I was trying really hard not to drive anywhere towards well anything, so I don't hit anything. Um, so I definitely need to get those brake lines, that brake line over here, fixed right away. I can show you guys actually. It's not like any lines on the rail. It's just this little guy. This guy needs to be extended up to here. Um, and I guess Mike already told you guys, but it's got a 390 in it. And this is a three-quarter ton 1975 chassis with uh, Jeep Willys. I think this. I think this is a 50s style, 50s or 60s Jeep Willys cab on it. So it's a it's a monster. It's got 52-inch tires, 52-inch tractor tires. Um, tires are know. small. I think. I think you need to get bigger ones. Sharp tires on it. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be sick. sick. <laughs> <Gotta float it. laughs> yeah. So. Oh, careful! People call you whistling diesel. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, this is gonna be the new play thing. So let me know what you guys want to see me do with it, because this is uh, not gonna be nice. This is gonna strictly be a play toy, make content for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see me do with it. I know what I want to see. What? I want to see a Christmas wreath right there for the holiday season. Right here. Yeah, I think it'd be a nice little touch. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> Could do that. First thing you'll do with it, and then whatever the subscribers want, then you can do that. Okay. Wife, wife gets what she wants first. That's fair. That's fair. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this truck. I guess you can see the interior too. It's getting dark here. The doors need latches. Also, it needs a front axle shaft. What it needs is a Dana 60 SWAT. It's a pretty small axle for these big tires, but uh, it needs a front I think the passenger side yeah front well, passenger side axle shaft this thing what is that well, the let drive me let me about. no wait the drive shaft that's yeah. what that big one is right yeah yeah it gets a little it looks a little crunchy crunchy what do you it mean? looks like crunchy when it goes in circles oh, like when it it's spinning? turning yeah oh maybe it's in four it shouldn't be in four. it was it was spinning and it looked oh. like it was just like oh that shouldn't be like it looked like it was very crunchy is this locker locked in? So we got three wheel drive because this is the passenger side that broke. Oh, this should be phone free. 
it, oh, it might not have been clicked over all the way. It sh that shouldn't be spinning, but yeah, yeah. it's the new <laughs> fun toy. Definitely needs a little bit of work, but she rips in two wheel drive and gonna have some fun with it. Is that the battery hooks up in the back? Yeah. It's a nice touch. There's not so much room up front. And I can mount I can mount it pretty good back here. Also, oh yeah, look at the fuel tank. It's here. just a little so this truck was only built for a 60 second mud run. You know, it wasn't built for doing anything more than that. So it's just a little just a little five gallon tank in the back for gas. So I wouldn't mind mounting a bigger fuel cell back here and then getting a bigger battery back here obviously and getting a bigger like actually mount the battery down in here. No, no, um, so you mount in here. Huh? A seat with a seat belt? So yeah, the chest. but this thing is so tippy that I would not want to roll this and Put kill a somebody. Bar over this. Could, I guess. It could build. That's another that thing would I wouldn't. Be sick. This is something that actually would be worth building a roll bar for because the odds of us tipping this is probably pretty great. I would also like to make it so I can actually shut the doors and keep them shut so they're not flying open and maybe get when we're driving. Sort of seat belt or something. Yeah. Cause I mean, if it does tip, it's like it'd be nice to be held in. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, not have the door open and fall out and get crushed. Yeah, or crush each other. Yeah, there's definitely some safety things, but safety's <laughs> eh. For you, not for me. I, I wouldn't tip it when you're riding it. I never do stupid stuff when you're riding. I know, and even then, I still get like, eh, I need to slow down. <laughs> this has been Colin here with Up North Outdoors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless, and I will see you guys in the next one. Really bad idea. Oh, 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 I saw the soul for sale. Yeah. Ten years old and look like hell. All my friends said, Don't I replied, Oh Lord, it's an F one fifth on bed for Stores my tools, can all alone Put a drinks up gas and now I'm broke well, I jack it up, put on, lift it off Road tires and be logs on And it. it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud, it wells the sand It defines me who I am It's more than practical, it's a statement If you ever think I'll say it, good luck American made, and it's my truck Tires and be locked on, dude. It's got me.